what's going on guys it's Hammer player here and today i'm bringing you some brand new gameplay of call of duty ghost this is some more footage that i managed to capture at eurogamer and uh, i'm showing you guys initially i didn't want to kind of upload it all at once because uh, there's definitely no rush because ghost still doesn't launch until november the 5th and there's not exactly going to be more gameplay but uh, i thought i'd kind of distribute it slowly in between the gta 5 stuff but this is some more gameplay of uh, me playing this is actually me playing at eurogamer in case you didn't know and uh, there's some gameplay on the map chasm this hasn't actually been shown off all that much it's one of the uh, i think it's the fourth map to be revealed that you can actually play on and uh, this is the fourth map and this is the game mode called blitz in case you didn't know this is actually the game mode where you can uh, it's basically capture the flag but without the flags and there's no flag running involved what you need to do is simply jump into the actual objective and then you'll score a point and you'll be teleported back to your own base and it's very very cool it's very new it's kind of like a more quick express version of capture the flag and uh, as you can see right here i'm killing a lot of dogs this is something that's kind of uh, very interesting about quality ghost because there are a lot of dogs running around at least there was uh, here because everyone is by default who is running the assault uh, strike package they have dog as a score streak but uh, dogs seem to be very 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 kind of uh, common along the map there are a lot of them normally players running around will have a dog accompanying them and as you can see by the times that I just killed them they have probably about 1.5 times the health of a human just a bit more but definitely not about twice the health but you can see right there as I'm killing one they have quite a bit of health and they can climb on the map as you can see he was trying to do there and uh, they, they're quite agile so they can move around the map and they will come and bite you if you're nearby they'll start growling so if you know if you hear a growl then uh, you definitely want to make sure you're turning around and making sure that a dog isn't going to come and eat you because they are very very powerful they're only a five kill streak but they are pretty good for uh, how many kills you actually need to get for them and uh, once one of them is dead you won't get another one you only get one uh, guard dog to accompany you so you need to make sure that one kind of stays alive but well uh, the new thing that's kind of in cod ghost is pretty much martyr dog just like you might remember martyr dom in uh, the old cod games where when you die there'll be a grenade coming after you uh, this new thing martyr dog is pretty much when you kill a guy his dog will come and just could destroy you because it's very common that once you've just killed a guy you'll have uh, no ammo left in your gun and that is the worst time for a dog to come after you so it's a very good tactic and uh, here I pulled out the uh, shotgun I'm not sure what it's called but it's a terrible shotgun I was doing so terribly in this game because as I've said before you probably know I was playing against very very good youtubers the kind of people like fear crads and Benny Central who uh, post very high score game players and they're good players strong players to play against and uh, I was not doing too well so I pulled out the shotgun got a kill and you can see it there for a second and uh, here's a look at the right shield but yeah i was playing as very good players so uh, don't expect beast gameplay from me but as you can see on the scoreboard which i've pulled up by accident i was actually doing second on my team and every one of us is going negative apart from number one and even he is barely going positive so we're all doing pretty badly we're playing against very good players and uh, but as you can see the scoreboard is up on the screen i actually had it up and i didn't even realize like i must have pressed the scoreboard button and uh, this is actually the scoreboard this is what it looks like when you press the scoreboard button this is what will pop up it's in that corner of the screen it no longer takes over the entire screen and uh, you can tell it's very subtle because I literally had it up for the entire game and I didn't even notice it was there I literally forgot about it and uh, didn't know that it was up because I was kind of focusing on the center of my screen and the scoreboard is in my peripheral vision I didn't really notice it was there and uh, so that is the new scoreboard it's pretty cool because uh, it kind of got a new layout and a new look to it as opposed to the normal one and uh, players that die show up in red so when you die you'll get a big red bar across you so you kind of know and uh, the blue bar is obviously you and it shows your ranking on the team and uh, it's pretty cool little heads up display that you can see some information about what's going on but uh, yeah it's kind of cool that shows off that I can literally forget about the scoreboard being there uh, that's how unnoticeable it is and uh, and here I am the Moors launcher this is in the actual support streak and what it does it shoots out two missiles as you can see right there and then it actually has quite a delay so it actually got the kill right there because it shoots out two missiles and then they fly into the air they go into different directions and then they'll kind of heat seek the player and as you can see here again it took a while but eventually it does get me the kill see there plus 200 so uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, found it useful if you did then spend a second click on the like button and i would definitely appreciate that if you want to check out more gameplay of ghosts uh, there'll be a video annotated at the end of the video when the music starts playing in the outro and uh, you can check that out so i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later Jump!